I got another thing for you. Have you ever did a video and it had been watched three times before it finished processing? Um, you ever did a video and while you were talking, if you, ah, it's kind of hard to explain it. So I did this video, right? While I was talking, the, um, it was a good video. Put it like this. The video was a good video. And while I was talking, um, the content of the video was, um, I don't want to say it was highly political, but the content of the video was hardcore. And when I said something derogatory about a group of people, the video stopped. And, and it was weird because, I mean, it just froze. And I didn't get to, to, to finish what I was saying. But I can honestly tell you, at the beginning of the video, I was bashing black people. And then I had worked on the Mexicans. And I was headed towards the white folks. And then as soon as I said, and white people, the fucking shit froze. And it automatically said processing. And then when I looked at my videos, it said wrong format. Um, I truly do believe that there's people watching our videos. I do believe they're editing our videos because I remember also saying a bunch of stuff in a video. And you know, you know, you know how I'll tell off and I'll start babbling on something else. And at about the seven minute and something mark, I start talking about something else. And you know, then I jump back to what I was doing. I literally watched the video before it uploaded because it is like three videos in a row I was getting cut right when I get to my vital part of what I'm saying you know, if you watch enough of my videos you know when I'm gonna hit them you know when I'm gonna just bring it out of the box so um I'm watching this video and I watched the entire nine minute video you know and I'm like well shit they didn't cut it then when I watched the video after it finished processing and all the good stuff and you know how you go back and look at your videos just to see what's going on and I clicked and right there at that one point at the seven minute mark when I when I said something and, and went off somewhere else it was cut it was cut at the high point in the conversation like uh, and then you know that was it yeah, a few minutes later I, you know and they stopped it right at that at the point where it would be cut if I was to edit the video and I said to myself they're editing my videos and if you watch some of the videos they make it look like it stopped but some of the videos that are cut clean like at the end of a phrase that's why I say you've been tubed on 99% of my videos because if you can't get to you've been tubed then the video has been cut and people who know they know and a lot of people say I'm just tripping you ever do video and you're done doing the video and your red light's still on on the camera you don't think nothing of it the videos processed and it's up but the red light is still on you ever think about that you know I do truly believe that um, sometimes when I do these videos man and when when they're processing the camera's just on and you sit there and look at it and you sit there and look at the and some people pick up a cigarette or start drinking a beer and shit some people might be smoking a blunt or sticking their nose in a damn tray I don't know but then your video camera's still on and the microphone is still on how do we know they're not trying to listen how do we know they're not trying to find the people who are gonna stand up and tell the truth how do how do you know how do excuse me how do we know that this isn't a way to weed out the bad apples those of us who can think and think consciously and raise consciousness how come what if this is their their way to find us what if they're finding who to to round up based on how eloquently they can speak based on how knowledgeable they are based on the unity in which they can bring if allowed to come to power. How do we know this isn't some tool to find us and, and, and send us off to that great boxcar? How do we know that some things that we're saying will be used against us?
or will not be used against us. What if all of a sudden they, was it, confiscate or, yeah, what if they confiscate all the videos done by people made in America against Obama or McCain or, or you know, the government? Because we all spoke that the government should do better for the people. That's terrorist, based on H.R. 55, 155. So, um, you know, all these laws and rules and all this censorship, they're letting us talk so we can hang ourselves. And they're stopping us from speaking the truth. How you know the phone's going to ring, boy? How can I help you? Hello? Now listen. Now, these people are calling me about my credit card account. The same motherfucking people calling me about my auto insurance and my my uh, vehicle warranty. And I'm bitching about that too in a couple videos. I'm tired of getting phone calls, wasting my minutes knowing that the phone company sold my damn phone number to these people who are calling the cell phone. Come on. Getting back on point. YouTube is censorship. They're about to find out who we are. They're about to give a list to the government of those people who are most likely to promote change in the country. And these people will be rounded up. That's going to be censorship, buddy. When they snatch me and you for telling the goddamn truth. Because this is bullshit. They need a filter between us and the little kids. And you know what? I hate to have to say this. Knock out all censorship. You want... I put it like this. Would you censor... Would they censor Howard Stern? There you have it. Would Howard Stern be censored? If Howard Stern wanted to show some titties... Would would Howard would they censor Howard Stern? Would they well would they shit, come on man. Would they censor Larry Flint? I'm not saying YouTube should have porn stuff on there. I should put it like this. YouTube shouldn't go no farther than showtime at ten thirty at night. But little kids who get on YouTube, there should be a requirement that you have your face, a current picture of you. That should be a requirement. Your face. So whenever we go to these people's videos, a picture of that person pops up. Uh, first, Jonathan, age nine. Well, fuck it, I ain't watching that video. You know what I mean? And there should be a filter right there to where if we're talking about a certain uh, topic where a kid can listen in, fine. If we're cussing, fine. Like I told the little kid, you know, who uh, wanted to befriend me the other day. You got to ask mom and dad, can you befriend a 40-year-old man? I ain't Michael Jackson. I ain't going to sing and dance for you. I ain't going to give you nothing to eat either, and I ain't going to touch you. So there's a whole bunch I ain't going to do. I ain't Michael Jackson. So um, the moral of the story is, man, I hate being beat up like this on YouTube. I hate doing videos with substance. I cuss. If I quit cussing, fine. No problem. Boy, are you going to pay me for not cussing? Or what? If they had an all-comedy channel, are you going to tell me the all-comedy channel is not going to be cussing? No cussing on it? The man stub his toe, he's going to say, Shit! Fuck! Every time. Woman stub her toe, Shit! Fuck! Every time. If you bleed, Oh! Fuck! But as far as the nudity... Man, I was there with you, man, getting pictures of male examination. That could be because men, two men, deep kissing. Come on, man, nobody want to see that. But they allow stuff like that to happen. They allow people to do what they want to do. But then when somebody with an inch of brain and a mile of knowledge say anything, you get censored. You get your video hacked. I wish I would have saw that lady doing the nasty on the YouTube. You damn right ought to watch it. I'm like, ooh, that girl nasty. But until then, the whole tube has been tubed. See you later, future. Later. Bye.